Hi there. So this is my first tutorial, just a, a brief introduction to GarageBand. So I've already got it, the application opened, and this is what pops up. New project, empty project, and I'm just going to choose. And then it's going to give me four options. Software instrument, two different audio options, and a drummer. Uh, we're not going to learn about those yet, so we're just going to do the default software instrument and create. Now when you pop up, you can see all sorts of stuff going on. This is going to come in handy later. This is our musical typing. Uh, our little keyboard. I'm going to close that. The other way you can do that is to hit Command K. It's a good short in that shortcut to know. If I want it to come back, Command K. But for now, we can leave it out. And we're going to go up to the top right hand corner up here. And this thing that looks like a loop de loop, that's our loop browser. We're going to click on that. And it's going to give us some pre made little snippets of music that we can loop. And this is just a beginning for, for composing. We're going to get, we're going to go way beyond this and be creating our own little snippets of sound. Uh, but right now we're just going to use the ones they have loaded in here to get a feel for the program and to get some sort of musical concepts down. So uh, the way you can browse these is by instrument, by genre, or by descriptors like electric, clean, groovy, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to just go by instrument because I kind of have a way I like to build up. I usually use some sort of drum, a drum kit or beats. Let's just go for, try random beats here. Um, and so it's a, Whoa, it's a bit loud. Blow your ears off. Okay, so um, I don't know, I'm not really feeling that. Let's do something a little more straightforward. Oh, that is super straightforward. Okay, let's that's nice and simple. It gets the idea across. So I'm gonna drag it in here underneath my electric piano. I can get rid of this now if I wanted to just hit delete. And, uh, we just needed that to get our our project started. So now we have a nice simple thing. And it says here, you might notice with the name of the of the loop, and then it says beats, and it got different numbers here. And this one says eight. So what does that mean? Well. I'm just going to mute this for a second. That's this mute button. If I turn on this one, that's our click track or our metronome, and play it, we can hear the beat, right? Every click is a beat, and they come in groups of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. And that's how they're counting up here, right? You see that? It's going. Four, one. But the first number is changing, and those are our bars, or our measures. I'm just going to call them bars. So we have so many bars of music. So that's what these long lines are. They go all the way down into the music. So we need to pay attention to where the bars start and end. Right now we're just going to do two bars, and that makes eight beats in all. So another thing I can do is I can click on here, and it will go yellow, and that means we're looping. And I can drag this back and forth, or I can toggle the loop on and off that way. So now it's just going to play these eight beats. I can listen to what my beat sounds like. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, you can hear the beat very clearly in that one, which is why I chose it. Now let's add something else. So if I Click on beats, it's gonna give us all the options again. I'm gonna layer some bass on it. Why not some synthetic bass? And this time I'm gonna scroll. Let's just go a little. Let's wait till something. Deep sleep, that's interesting. Yeah, maybe. Um, endless streets, that's another one. As sometimes you see there, it's kind of a, a theme to these ones. So we got two different bass kind of grooves. Uh, why not? Why not? Let's just go for it. Here we go. Let's hear them together. I'm grooving. Yeah. Okay. We got a beat. We got some drums. Um, next, I 
on top of our, our percussion and our, and our bass line. It's nice to have something more playing some chords or playing some kind of atmospheric stuff. So again, we can go and see what's here. Piano, synths, electric piano. All of those ones will, will give you that sort of that sort of groove. All right, so why don't we try electric piano this time? And I'm looking for something fairly short. Funk. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Neon. Neon dreams. I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll try. Maybe we'll try the synths here. Um, and anything that's kind of kind of fairly. Sh Let's go way deep in there. Why not? Let's go for it. Mm, plank sleeping. Pirate. Yeah, whatever. Let's just just go for it. All right, here we go. Oh yeah. All right. So we're filling a different part of the kind of musical spectrum here. We have the low bass. We got the percussive beat. Now we're getting kind of in the higher. Often you want to have something that's more like chords in there. This one's more slightly more melodic, but just that general idea. And why not go? Let's go total left field, and pick something really that doesn't. This is very electronic sounding. Let's go woodwinds. Why not? Now we got some all sorts of different, a lot of saxon, jazz hustle. Well, that can't be very similar. Let's try that. Oh yeah. Why not? Okay. I'm going crazy. And boom. Well, that's certainly different. Uh, and different, in this case, is pretty good. Um, so we're just building layers. This sounds weird, just looping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the looping. And let's try stretching it in this direction. So that you can do that. If these are longer loops, you can actually change like I could shorten this one, but it it's, doesn't get any longer than eight. But I can go to the top and then loop it. All right, see if you can grab it in the right spot. You get two that's lengthen or shorten, and that's loop. And we're gonna just loop this one out for a while. Uh, whoa, that's pretty far. Uh, let's 24. Sure, why not? Make it that's fairly long and let's stretch the bass out and have some things come in later all right so this is one of the techniques you'll hear in a lot of songs but everything doesn't start at the same time all right so Now, with the Apple Loops, I showed some of these have like a sort of a theme to them. So since this flute is kind of our like our lead sound, we can take some of these other uh, jazz hustle flute things in here and just kind of, oh yeah, that's cool. Let's just put that there and then maybe we'll do that other one and end off with oh, that, that sounds like an ending right there let's pop that one there maybe give this one a little space all right so we're just trying to get a little mess around with the flute have our synth come in um, I can copy this and if I just click to different spots as long as this is highlighted if I paste there I'll just pop it in. All right. Mm, that was kind of our ending, so let's drag that one there. And uh, endless streets. That was our bass sound. Hopefully, I'm not going too fast for you here. I'm gonna, gonna just go back to it. That was synthetic bass. Scroll down back to that section. I'm gonna try some of these other different bass sounds. Ooh, 
that's kind of fun. That, that sounds like a good beginning. What do we have? What do we shorten this? Oh, not like that. There's a loop side. We just have to move it. Shrink it. And we'll throw in our base swell instead. And we have some more uh, similar themed base groove. We'll just add that one. Variety, and why don't we do our base well in there too? Uh, there you go. We got some things coming in and out. I'm just kind of playing around. Now let's hear what this sounds like. the The principle that I'm following though is that um, I'm having instruments come in and out and change. There's some repetition, right? The loops help to give you something that's familiar, but then you have variety mixed in. So here you go. Those ones are really, that's really obnoxious. I don't like that. I'm not taking that. that. I thought that was going to be potential, but I'd rather just have the bass drop in and out than have that. Yeah. Let's introduce the bass right away. One last tweak. Sometimes you try something that doesn't work, sometimes it does. Trust your ears. Yeah, okay, now uh, maybe a change of bass here instead of just nothing. I'll go back and give it a listen. to come back in there. The original bass line. Oi, oi, don't do that. Copy. We just did control V there. And I'm just gonna paste in here. And now let's just give our ending a listening. Let's see if we like it. I'm kind of wrecked it. Not quite the ending ones, but uh, that's enough work on this. You kind of get the idea. So yeah, that's just plopping loops in, and these are all the same length. You could, you can see some are 16, some are 8, so you can overlap ones a different length. Do your basic math. Try different things. Have things come in at different bars. But respect those bar lines. Uh, like I said, until you're a little more confident and you can start doing weird trimming and stuff, you just play around with with the sections and see how they sound. And then we'll get to actually building our own drum beats, writing our own bass lines and synth parts, and even weird instruments like flutes. You can, you can create your own lines like that um, for something that's more to what you're imagining in your head and just more original and more fun. So there you go. That's our first little GarageBand tutorial. Hopefully that was helpful. So get in there, start your own file and start messing around with loops.